Commitment 2022 tonight zeroes in on races for county and circuit judge. All across Central Florida, there are dozens of seats up for grabs, but how do you know which candidate to pick? West 2 political reporter Greg Fox has the steps you can take to learn more about the people who will oversee justice in our state. Circuit Judge Jessica Rexiedler in Seminole County is running for re-election in just one of 51 circuit and county judge races going to voters in the August 23rd primary. I am confident that I am the right choice in this race. And Circuit I'm Judge Vincent Chu in Orange County is also hoping to hold his seat against the challenge from Aldo Bartoloni. You're here to improve the lives of the citizens of the people that you serve. The Tiger Bay Club hosted this forum for a dozen candidates hoping to retain or gain seats on the bench in next month's election. For a lot of voters, especially those not in the legal community and who may never set foot inside of a courthouse, the idea of selecting candidates for judge on the ballot may seem challenging. But the Florida Bar has resources to help. It has an online guide for voters that contains a wealth of information about the duties of judges. It includes maps that show you which of the circuits cover your county. The bar also has bios for Supreme Court justices and district court judges who are up for merit retention votes in November. That means you can vote to keep or remove them. David Simmons is a former state senator and local attorney who says voters must do their homework before voting. Call friends and call attorneys who uh, you might know and say, who should I vote for and, uh, and why? Voters can also read candidate self-disclosure statements that are provided on the bar website to explain their experience. But in the Circuit 9 race between Judge John Beamer and Michael Stewart, only Beamer provided a statement. But it's important to note, those statements do not indicate a bar endorsement. Does a candidate have a discipline history? The bar has monthly news releases on which attorneys are being punished and why. And detailed discipline records are open for public view just by typing in the attorney's name. If a candidate for judge has a disciplinary history, that's a red flag. And a voter should look at that carefully. It's not a disqualifier, but it does mean that someone should look at that and make that part of their decision. Information voters can use right now to learn more about the candidates who want to serve in our courts. Greg Fox, West 2 News. This year, across the state, there are 227 circuit and county court seats that were uncontested.